I get these cups for free at fast food restaurants like Burger King, McDonald's, KFC. If you just ask for water with your meal, they'll give you one of these cups and uh, put some water in it and they don't charge you anything for it. So it's a nice way to get a drink for free and a cup that you can turn into a net cup. We are experimenting with a sustainable system that is designed to feed a family indefinitely. Will it work? We don't know. But you can follow us as we attempt to tackle the challenge. We call this Chicken Aquaponics. We have been running undiluted nutrient water through this NFT system for two weeks now. The first sample coming directly out of the system records nitrates that are over 80 parts per million. In anticipation that we may have growing issues with nitrate levels being that high, we are going to set up three bins of diluted nutrient solution. So let's get started. Using my precision measuring instrument coffee mug, I am scooping chicken water out of its holding pail and into these grow bins. In my first grow bin, I am using three scoops of chicken water and 30 scoops of reverse osmosis purified water. In the second bin, I'm using five scoops of chicken water and 20 scoops of fresh water. And in the third bin, I'm using 10 scoops of chicken water and 10 scoops of fresh water. The first grow bin where we measured 3 and 30, the nitrates come out to 10 parts per million. The second bin where we measured 5 and 20 came out to 20 parts per million nitrates. The third bin where we measured 10 and 10 came out 40 parts per million and of course the NFT system is well over 40 parts per million. So it's the end of February here and we are about to go into our hot season where temperatures will be steadily in the 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit range. So I'm covering each bin with aluminum foil to help reflect solar heat and keep the grow bins cool. I've added two air stones to each grow bin to help oxygenate the water and keep it circulating. In the row furthest from me, I am using rock wool seed starters and a cotton wicking string. And in the row closest to me, I am using foam cube seed starters with a cotton wicking string. I'm trying the different growing mediums to see which one works best. Inside each seed starter, I am putting three seeds of Georgia collard greens. The plot of land that I have to grow on is just a little sliver in between these two tall buildings. We only get about an hour and a half of direct sunlight every day. My prediction for this experiment is that there will be some level of nutrient deficiencies with these plants, but obviously our hope is that this will be an all-in-one solution. Be sure to subscribe and check back to see if our experiment is a success.